Brittany and Ray. What an actual mess. He goes to the house to meet the family to go pick up Ray. And Ray doesn't come from a hood family like she thought he did. Okay, she meets the grandma. And the grandma is pretty much like, this girl weird. Why the heck is she dating an inmate? Mind you, the inmate is her grandson. The whole thing is crazy. Let's get right on into it. It's time for love after luck up, baby. Hi. <laughs> wow. Th this one is crazy. Mm -mm. A cell phone because that's what our relationship was based off of. We stay in contact. So she got him a cell phone. This season... This season, everybody is out here flashy. Everybody's out here flashy, buying their people. I don't know where they're getting all this money from. But she got him a whole phone. A whole phone for him. It's already activated. He already has a phone number. And it's also weird because his family is very well off, we're going to see in a minute. So then, why is she getting all this stuff? Oh, and I already said his password is the same as mine. Well, that's kind of controlling and kind of scary because that that's not anything nice that you're smiling why are you smiling that is very creepy actually in a sense because obviously you did that so that you can be snooping into his phone whenever you want and that's that's not good at all but she's gonna say it's so i think that's kind of cute to be like but it's once not. a week you know go check make sure everything's okay she would actually before all this she would go into his social media accounts and she would just check and see his messages and if you're ever dealing with a woman this controlling run run so fast run the other way because that's crazy okay first have conversations okay and then run because that's that's so controlling that's so smothering so you mean you can't even be your own independent person without having this person be all up in your business that's not right especially now that he's coming from prison he shouldn't have you wanting to see what exactly he's doing and all these type of things no he's a grown man and you should trust him you should trust Just, him you know some conversations i definitely want to marry ray but i don't it's so funny with this love after love. Everybody's talking about marriage, but they have no idea. They know about 2% of everything that the other person has got going on in their life. Present, past, and future. They don't know Jack Lee Squad, but they want to get married so fast. No, any. They're all in love with the idea of marriage. But marriage itself, I don't think they know what they it takes. about his family. Wait. Am I at the right house? I'm 33 and I'm getting older. My eggs are just getting dusty and crusty and dried up. Please, don't speak that into existence over your eggs, okay? Your eggs are bouncy, juicy, plump, and ready to mingle, okay? Don't speak that over your eggs. Like, I hate it when people, okay, hate is a strong word. Hate is a very strong word. But I really dislike it when women are like a bit older in age and they're like, oh, my eggs, they, they're non existent. They're dried on an A4 piece of paper and like all these type of things that they say about their eggs. Have some, put some respect on your eggs' name, okay? Um, and don't speak anything weird into existence because you don't know yet if your eggs are really dried up and shriveled up and all the rest of the stuff you were saying. So, yeah, we ain't gonna do that to your eggs, okay? Some shirts. Okay. So, she goes to the house. This is Ray's step mom and dad. And she goes there and she has these t-shirts. And at first when she was handing them out, I was like, oh boy, this 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 might not end very well. But yeah, they, 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 they took it well. It was kind of a nice gesture as well. Like she had this, um, the, the t-shirts and it has something like, welcome home Ray or something. I don't know. We'll see in a minute what it says. But it's really nice. The print on it is really nice. And she wants them to all wear it. So when they go to meet Ray, it's like, hey, we're all a team. We're together. And it's kind of cool as well because he's obviously never seen her with his family so it's like that shows like ooh, they're all coming together and we can really be a family together so it's a good idea Honor, just put them on it's like welcome home oh, that would be cute you belong here welcome home ray i think that's what it says <laughs> okay and this is the grandma who by the way looks amazing yes ma'am so you know we need to rewind that because that was crazy first of all their exchange was interesting so their exchange was like she was kind of like hand, Brittany was kind of like hand, and then the grandma was like, mm, this is kind of hog, but not really. So they did this weird, awkward air kisses type stuff. In any case, first meetings can always be awkward. That's why you need to have a, you need, you need to stick to something. Either you're a hugger or you're a firm, you're, you, you go in like firm handshake, 
know what you're gonna do because I honestly you look awkward. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you know, I'm raised grandma. Oh, okay. I didn't understand that because you've already had an interaction. You've already shook hands slash your weird hog with the air kisses. And the way, like she should have just been like, hi, I'm raised grandma. And the way she said, you know, I'm raised grandma, kind of like, um, you, you do know who I am, right? Like, you need to come correct. As if she wasn't already coming correct. Like, she was very respectful and all this type of stuff. So I don't really know whether what the grandma wanted from her in that instance, whether she wanted her to bow down to her. I'm not even saying that to be funny. Like, in some cultures, you will literally bow your head down or... You do certain things when you meet somebody who is of a certain age or of a certain importance. So I don't know what she wanted from her, but yeah, yeah, she knows. And if she didn't know, why don't you introduce yourself as such? You know, she's going to have a hard time with this grandma because apparently her and Ray are super duper close. So yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So you see here, you see Ray's dad. He has a, he's walking with a walking stick and the guy wants to drive okay they're going to this into this van situation that britney has rented with her own cash and i'm presuming for all these people to come with as they go and pick up ray which first of all usually they don't want it like that you know they want to pick up the person themselves so they can be alone and do the tan 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 and stuff like that but obviously family is important so they're coming with with a car that she has rented but now this man wants to drive So, uh, okay. Okay. It makes me feel a bit awkward that Ray's dad is just volunteering to drive. Did you go to sleep last night, Brittany? I really didn't sleep last night at all these plans. We may stop at a hotel. We may stop and get some food. Um, now it's about nine months. No, no. Yeah, right. Like, no. The grandma is grilling her. Like, so how do you, what, what do you know about him? How do you know him? Do you know him? Like, and she's like, yeah, I've been talking, or like, how long I've been on him? And she's like, yeah, I've been talking to him for like nine months. And she's like, oh, okay, so you don't, you, you know him, but you don't know, know him, okay? I like this grandma because I think terms like friends, terms like, oh, I know this guy, terms like all these things are just being thrown around these days. Like, do you know, know him? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I've been aware yeah. of each other. Yeah. Y'all been aware of each other, okay? You've been aware, but you don't know. It's kind of like you're not friends, you're acquaintances. Mm -hmm. yeah. That laugh? Did you hear that? That laugh of the grandma? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm wondering now, so what's up with this person that they gotta come to prison to find the mate? You know why? You got all these things going for you. Why you ain't got a man out here? That is painful on so many levels. So you, you, this grandma who probably raised Ray, you've lost him for a few years to the prison system. How did he get there? How did he? Let, hmm, I'll wait. I'll wait. Mm, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. since you want to talk about what's wrong with people why is your grandson in jail that's what i need to know what happened why did he go that path you guys are obviously very well off you might have had a hand in raising him i'm 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 90 sure of that so what went wrong there what part did you not play for him to be in jail the life paths that people go on it's life it can happen to anybody you try your best to not let it happen, but certain things can just happen to people, okay? You're judging her for not finding a man out here in the real world. Maybe he's not able to find a man in the real world. Got lonely and said, you yeah, know what? You know where I'm definitely going to find a man? In these prison chat website thing with jiggies. And that's where she ended up. Like, it, what I'm trying to say, and I don't think going to prison is, is a, a cool thing and a good thing. And I don't think it's like it's something that can just happen to any and everybody. But what I will say is, why are you in your position with your grandson in jail right now being judgmental over somebody else? Kind of like, what's wrong with this chick? She doesn't have her life in order. Why would she date 
Why would she just go for an inmate? That's rather strange. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, madam, your whole son is in prison. I'm confused. I'm really confused. You know what I mean? No, I don't. I mean, I, I, I get it. It's not something that uh, many people do. Just go and look for an inmate. It brings a whole host of problems, obviously. But the inmate you're talking about, do remember that that's your grandson. So you should actually be happy that he'll be coming out with a life already made for him. He's got this woman who's buying him stuff. I've not seen the family with a phone. Do they have a phone for him? She's going to provide everything, lavish him with everything, get him set for life. Next thing you know, she'll pull a, what's her face? Chevelle and buying him a truck or a car or whatever. All this takes off the burden of you guys because he's not going to get a job one, two, three because of his position as being an ex inmate. So if she has got a cash cow sitting on the outside, what's what's y'all's problem? Y'all should be happy. Great, we just started talking a whole Somebody who can give you great grandbabies, all the rest of that. <laughs> I don't know why you wouldn't embrace that, but I think the real thing that they're still thinking is it is kind of weird to find um, a mate on these prison websites. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. And we don't want a weird kid or a weird woman mixing up in our family. We don't want that. We just don't want that blend. So that's why she's thinking there might be something wrong with her. Oh, like... Now she has to justify. She's just like, oh, yes, we've been talking a whole lot just to, you know, let her know that, no, this is serious. We're in a real relationship. We're all greeting Ray. I expect him. To she left her house at 4.30 and it is now 8 o'clock in the morning. To hug me first. <laughs> she wants him to hug her first. Then all this family. You that has known him only nine months. You know what? If you you thought your wait was horrible, waiting for Ray for nine months, you can just imagine the mom. Okay, this is the stepmom. But what about an, an actual mom mom who bared him like who uh, what do you call it was nurturing him for nine months and then you're talking about you can't wait to meet him and this and that we're talking about even if okay this is stepmom so that example doesn't really quite fly here but let's say the stepmom ha mom has had to do a lot in raising ray for for years maybe months or whatever i don't know she's been in his life even if she has never been in his life the stepmom she's probably been with the dad for longer than those nine months and has had to console him and you know encourage him and motivate him and you know speak words of wisdom and comforting words and stuff to that man so that he's he's saying he's mentally saying he's okay um whilst he's waiting for his son so you've you've not struggled that hard you've just known this guy you've not even known him in the real world ever so you know he shouldn't be hugging you first before his family members that's just crazy <laughs> all this look and then they go with the family and then they're they're like ex exaggerating they're like over the top they're, they're like, like over the moon she's making the most noise dad is quiet grandma quiet stepmom quiet and she's just like ah 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 and like uh, making a whole scene <laughs> Look at that. It's too much. And there comes Ray. He doesn't even look at her for a minute or the rest of the family, like at all. Look at Ray. Look at Ray. They're all there. They're all Sees smiling. Me, but he doesn't really acknowledge me. It's all me, 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 me. Why doesn't she say he sees us, but he doesn't really acknowledge us? Also, I didn't really see him seeing them, but you know, editing. But yeah, I don't, I don't even really see him looking that way, okay? Even if it was, oh, he needs to go back to the prison. Why doesn't he just, and maybe he can't say anything. I don't know, but he could, he could try. I don't know. You know, these prison people, once they have a hold on you, you could go back. I don't know. You, you could be out here screaming and saying things and they say, uh-uh, you're making things difficult. So we're going to take you back to where you came from. That's possible. That will just keep him in the prison for longer. I don't know. They'll see it as acting out. I don't know. Maybe that's why he didn't even want to look there. He's just like, uh-uh. Whatever he's doing, I don't know. But. Where they going? Are they bringing them back? But whatever it is, he was not going back with them. He was going back in that van and we don't know what happens after that. So we'll have to stay tuned to it next, next week. But this whole family dynamic thing about to be a whole problem. And also the way he was very standoffish and the way he hasn't told her that she, he's not from the hood. He's actually from a very well-off family. 
yeah he has a lot of skeletons in his closet and i don't know whether he said that because maybe a bunch of these women they fantasize over the like the bad boy and maybe this is this is a good go- boy gone bad for a hot second that landed him in prison i don't know i don't know what he got involved in and how that all went but what i do know is that he probably made up this story of oh yes i'm a bad boy and i went to prison uh blah blah blah, blah, blah. um from the hood i'm a thug i'm, I'm rough around the edges blah 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 and she was like "Ooh, i got me a bad boy and maybe that's what gets a lot of women interested when they're in jail they don't just want a goody two shoes somebody who has the same life that they have because when i see his house it looks a lot like britney's house a lot i don't really even see a difference maybe it's even fancier so definitely a lot to uncover you know what i hope for her i hope that he's like this secret like former ceo like really big time big shot somewhere that went you know did the wrong thing whatever whatever but you know he's actually secretly very rich and he didn't want her to know because otherwise she would come for his money so he pretended to be the lowest of low and see whether she was still love him that could be a thing i don't know just speculating but in any case um nothing more to say about these people it's just there's so many interesting things going on here so many layers and that grandma is savage like the stuff that she was saying there was just no need for that when you're in this predicament with your whole son being an ex-inmate or still inmate at the time that she was speaking but in any case if you're not already part of the family make sure you hit bumps thumb pass on the subscribe button comment because i really want to know what you think like because you always like this video and hit the notification bell while she had it i will see you in a new next video which will be tomorrow daily ish video up in here i can't speak i'm tired <laughs> in any case in the meantime make time for glorious life it's time to start what let me try it god bless and take care